guys. Yeah. Cool angle. Yep. So, we are back in uh, Tehran. Yeah. On our way back. Fuck uh, Yeah. Today we have been sitting a lot in the bus. Yes. Um, the only thing we have done, uh, seen, worth mentioning, is Kaf, which is a religious center, second holiest place in Iran after Mashhad. After Mashhad. Um, and there is a massive shrine for the seventh Imam's daughter called Masuma. Masuma. Oh, no, her name is Fatma, but her uh, title is Masuma. And uh, it was a it was a very interesting experience, I must say. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. The rest must do the honors, please. I can do that. As, yes. Well, see, we arrived there, and uh, they had a place for to leave our luggage, which was very nice. Mm. And we walk in there. We just sort of walk around. Yeah. Um, then when we get near to the the center where the shrine itself is, um, suddenly uh, there's these people who sort of know, start uh, take us over and uh, asking us some questions. So, you know, where are we from? Where, where am I from? And, so, you know, I'm from Denmark, and then they ask him where he is from, and, and they ask me if I'm, uh, if I'm a Muslim. And I, I say, no, uh, I'm not. Um, and they said, you're a Christian. Um, yeah, and I said, no. <laughs> and, then said, uh, and then he asked, well, do I believe in God? And then you're like, I'm unsure. <laughs> <laughs> no, at that point I said I believe there's some there's something up there, but he he did I don't think he quite he said do you believe in God? I said yes I believe there's a God, which is not entirely true, but it made things easier. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, what happened was they they kind of took us around, showed us around, and then took us into um, the first office. First, the Urdu office. They, no, yes, they wanted to get us to the Urdu office because Umar speaks Urdu, and it was closed and the national office was closed um, so they took us to I don't I know, know what, it was. what he was but he I think he was sort of the daily caretaker he was some a religious man of some sort that had uh, some authority in the place mm -hmm. and uh, you know they asked us you know anything we wanted to ask about Islam and stuff because I think they, they thought that maybe I was there uh, considering converting. To conversion and that's why he was visiting around basically yes um, so they, uh, yeah, they, they were nice and talking to us, and, uh, and we sat there, and then uh, after a while we moved to the International Affairs Office, office that yeah. opened, so we moved there and sat and talked with another guy, and they gave us, like... Where are the books, man? Show them the books. Pile of books. Well, actually now I've given some of them to... Uh, well, yeah, guys. I got some books. But well, books? I mean, we don't have to show them. Oh, we come on, man. a pile of books this, this big, basically. Um, I got a few more than Umar. Um, I'm halfway there. Halfway there. Because I'm not. This is that's half of the books. That's just Umar's pile, and then I have a pile that's just as big. Uh, this was in German as well. Oh, that one's mine. Yeah. German. Okay. So uh, basically, because they were hoping to convert us, and they uh, wanted to send us things by email and so on and so forth, and and as in the I. I kind of obliged them because uh, in the end we also asked for permission to visit the shrine itself. I mean, Umar could have done it because he's a Muslim so on, but normally uh, non-Muslims are not allowed, so I asked uh, if it was okay, and they, uh, he, the guy went to get a, a special permission, which we got, mm -hmm. so we were allowed to go in there and see, so he guided us in there. He, he walked a little bit briskly, but... Uh, he wasn't, like, he was rushing it, but yeah, we got to see the but, shrine. I mean, we got to see the shrine, and we, I mean, it was not like we were running through. We, we were walking past it, but we didn't have much time to stop and look uh, at the shrine itself. Uh, yeah. But it was also quite busy. Yeah. Uh, but he also showed us some other things, like uh, there was the, the mosque, the... The, the old mosque? Holy, the old the holiest mosque there, and it, it was... It had a massive chandelier. I mean, it was a bit impressive oh, chandelier. it was like, so bright. And then you went out, there's like three chandeliers in there. It was sort of small, medium, large, massive chandelier, which was really impressive. Um, so yeah, Kaf was pretty cool. Uh, and then, you know, he had shown us around, we thanked him, and then we went on merry ways to Tehran. So the tip for you is if you want to visit Kaf, dye your hair black and uh, wear black contact lenses and tan yourself a bit because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it Then you can perfectly. see the, the shrine, yes. Uh, but I mean, they still uh, allow visitors uh, even if, if you're not. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, you have other other tip is ni be nice to them and be interested in Islam. Yeah. If you're like, no, I'm a fucking atheist, they'll be like, go fuck yourself, basically. Yeah. So, so be nice, be polite. Uh, you don't have to accept everything they say. You don't have to convert. But to just Islam seem by like, being there. But seem like they have a polite interest. Yeah. Anyway, now we're back to turn. We are at this house, parents. Uh, had a lovely dinner. Had a lovely dinner. Had yeah. a lovely chat about global politics and Libya and Afghanistan yeah. and Pakistan. And yes, and sad to talk a bit about a trip and. They are as hospitable as ever. Very, yeah. very nice. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, now we're going to go to bed. And tomorrow morning we'll have breakfast with them and go to the airport. Um, so um, I think tomorrow we'll be doing a closing thoughts on Iran as we leave it, sit in Dubai and talk a little bit. But for now, more. Thanks for Iran. It's been a pleasure. Yes. Okay. More. So, uh, so goodbye. Okay. And the quote of today, today is, we are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. That yeah. is what this has parents say every day. Every day. Yeah. When we when we call them to say we are arrived, they say we are waiting for you. When we say when when we say we'll go to bed, they say we are waiting for you. Uh, very nice, but uh, sometimes it can get confusing what they mean with the sentence. Yeah, no, no, it's similar to what Shias think. They are waiting for Imam Mandi, the twelfth Imam, who is sitting, and they think he's going to come back with Jesus Christ to save the world. So, there you go. We are waiting. Bye-bye.